Greetings, dear viewers. So, the previous Super Mario World video where I just sort of play Super Mario World and chill out and talk with you folks, that was received pretty well, and I really wanted to make another one. So I'm very glad that was received very well. And I'm very appreciative of you folks for that. Um, a lot of encouraging comments, a lot of long comments too, which is really cool because I love getting comments. That's That's one of the things that I've never lost when it comes to doing YouTube. I've never lost that. I've always loved getting comments on my videos. Zip! Take that feather. I've always loved getting comments on my videos, so I thank you all for how many responses you gave and for the longer responses, stuff to read. It's all good fun, man. I love it. Another thing that I love uh, that I haven't lost is how excited I get whenever I upload a new video. And videos like this let me do that easily uh, as opposed to like harder content, harder to make content. So I love this kind of stuff and I love that it was received so well for, uh, by you folks. And I noticed something very, very cool when uh, checking out how well that video did and all that good stuff. I know something very, very cool. So one of the things, and I'm gonna share that with you now, one of the things that I asked in that previous video was how many of you were newer viewers to my channel as opposed to those who've been uh, long time viewers and are returning. Um, and there wasn't a whole lot of viewers saying that they were newer to the channel. Uh, there, was, there, there weren't none. There, there, there wasn't n no people saying that, but uh, in general, it was like 99.99% of the responses were uh, that you folks have been here since like X's Adventures in Minecraft or uh, X Plays Half-Life 2 or even my World of Warcraft videos. Uh, and that's that's really that's really freaking cool to me. And yeah, I realized that what uh, that the equivalent of what I basically just said was, hey, I'm not gaining any new viewers, and that's awesome. <laughs> I realized that that's how it can be seen. But dear viewers, everything in life is about perspective. Everything, absolutely everything in life is about perspective. See, I'm not looking at this and saying to myself, man, I'm not gaining any new viewers, that sucks. I'm looking at this and I'm looking at the YouTube, um, I'm looking at the views of my videos and I'm averaging like 1,200 to 2,000 views per video. So combined with the fact that I'm not really gaining any new viewers, that means that most of you folks, like 1,200 to 2,000 of you, have stuck with me for that long. And for that, I thank you. And you guys keep coming back. And that's amazing to me. That is so incredibly humbling. And even better is that it's not even, that's not even the number. There's probably even more people who have stuck with me because that 1,200 to 2,000 that we see on every video is not necessarily the most accurate number because sometimes uh, people just haven't gotten to the video yet. Like they're gonna get to it on the weekend or what have you. So they just haven't clicked it yet. Because that 1,200 to 2,000 are just the people who saw the video and clicked it. Because remember, sometimes uh, videos don't even show up in your sub box even though you've subscribed to somebody. or And even if you've clicked that bell, not every everybody who's clicked that bell gets a notification. Not everybody who has subbed to a particular YouTuber gets every one of their videos, you know? So that's crazy to me that because that, that means there's probably even more people who have stuck with me than what we're seeing on a per video basis, man. And that's just so humbling. And, and I, you know, that whole people say they can like when people said like they feel the love kind of thing. That's sort of where I'm at with this whole thing. And that's freaking amazing to me. And I got to thank all of you for that. That's that's just so freaking cool, dude. And yeah, I know we live in the modern YouTube era, right? Um, where videos frequently reach uh, like millions of views, like 5 million, 10 million views. Yeah, that's, and we're all watching those kinds of videos because that's how the YouTube algorithm works, right? That's what they're trying to do. That's how YouTube makes their profit. And that's fine. Um, if I can go off on a little bit of a tangent here, I know YouTube's algorithm and how they do things has received a lot of flack in the past um, because it, for a number of negative reasons, among them being that it makes it difficult for newer YouTubers to get their start because the algorithm favors content that's already going viral and it doesn't really suggest newer stuff, etc, etc, etc. You know, there's there's all kinds of negatives to the to the current alg uh, algorithm. There really is. Uh, but, you know, I can't really hold it too much against YouTube because they're a for-profit company and they put a lot of science and a lot of math into this algorithm to discover that this is the best way that they can make their dollar. And really, if they weren't a for-profit company, then they 
might very well not as easily be able to do things like enable me to make videos like this. So I can't really hold it too much against YouTube. I really can't. And I realize there's all kinds of um, there's all kinds of stuff that can be said about that, but I don't want to get into that topic. I just want to provide some perspective and say, you know what? Yeah, there are some negatives to the algorithm, but you know, things change. YouTube moves forward. We need to move forward. We need to adapt, you know, that kind of thing. Anyway, what, I've, what I'm trying to say here is, oops, what I'm trying to say here is, um, yeah, we live in the modern YouTube era where videos frequently reach millions of views. So <laughs> to look at my videos that are getting like 1,200 to 1,000 and say that that's big, that's huge, it's colossal to me. It really is 2,000, 2000 people? Like visualize that, like it's just vi just visualize that. That's a ton of people. That's amazing to me, man. So I feel I feel really good about that because I don't look at it again. I don't look at it as man. I'm not getting new viewers. I look at it as man. Two thousand people have stuck with me this whole time. That's freaking amazing, and I and I freaking love it. I just wanted to express that. I have to express that. That's the big thing that I want to get across in this video because I do want to make more of these videos and I just want to ramble and I just want to talk about some things and I just want to display my thoughts and just talk to you folks again because I haven't done that. I feel like that's one of the things that I have lost uh, as a YouTuber. No, Yoshi, don't actually fully leave. Dang it. <laughs> uh, I feel like that's one of the things that I have lost as a YouTuber. Uh, I sort of lost how I was doing content originally. Like, yeah. I began my YouTube channel with World of Warcraft farming videos. That's how I really got it off the ground um, because I was providing value to viewers and I've always liked providing value with my videos, like illustrating a point or showing how to do something or bringing up a topic of a conversation or uh, showing off a new title, a new game or something. I've always liked to bring value to viewers through those kinds of videos. But back in the day when I first started, while I did like doing that, I also didn't have a problem just making content for the sake of doing it, dude. Just for the sake of putting something out there and having just a good old time with it, man. Um, I sort of lost that along the way. Like, I put that kind of content, I shelved that kind of content, put it on the shelf in favor of, like, trying my hardest to, to make every video uh, a video where viewers could get some kind of, like, I don't know, get some, if, quote, get something out of it, unquote. Like, you know, like I said, all the things like teaching something or whatever. But uh, yeah, I have lately, in large part thanks to that previous video, come to realize that there is there is value in this kind of content too, not just for the viewers, but also for me. And I would love to just kind of make a return to form on YouTube, to be honest, and kind of go back to my roots. Oh, I would love that. Just even thinking of it excites me. It makes me feel serene inside. And I mean that, I felt like a sense of serenity just saying that, and that's gotta mean something about it is right, so I would love to start doing that. And I think the fact that I'm making this video right now at like 8 a.m. and I'm tired because I've been up all night, uh, just goes to show that, man, I, I want to be doing this. I love it. So that's that's the dealio, man. I, I feel like that's where I am right now. Let me know what you folks think about that kind of thing. Because I am feeling really good about it, and I think that's what we're going to start seeing my channel steer back toward, because that's what I want to do, man. I, I just want to do that, and that's what I'm going to be doing. So we're going to start seeing more of these Mario videos come out as a first as a first step, honestly. And I do want to kind of keep the videos down to like about 10, 15 minutes, because that I, I, I remember the old YouTube 10 or 15 minute limit, and I'm sure I've mentioned this before, maybe even in the previous video, in fact, I'm not sure. But I'm sure I've mentioned this before. I felt like the YouTube 10 minute limit back in the day really forced content creators to think about their content, how they wanted to say what they were going to say, do what they were going to do, get across what they were going to get across, or accomplish what they wanted to accomplish with any particular video uh, in a way that they could do it succinctly to the point without a lot of rambling or without a lot of extra extraneous stuff, you know? Uh, it kept videos very focused, and to me, that was a lot more entertaining to watch. And I felt like things were just more useful, or I don't know, I don't really know, but I felt like that 10 minute, 15 minute limit that YouTube used to have was actually a pretty good thing. So I kind of want to do that for these as well. And that's one of the things that I noticed in the comments of the previous video too, is that you folks seem to agree about the 10 minute limit being something that's pretty good. Now I know that there's a lot of people, there's various different viewers and tastes and people have different schedules and stuff like that. So obviously opinions on that are going to vary. So I'm going to sort of vary the lengths of these for the most part, but I want to keep them um, around 10 to 15 minutes if I can uh, on the usual, you know, that kind of thing. 
Anyway, there's a save screen. So let's see how long we have been recording here. I'll alt tab and check. And here we are at 11 minutes, man. So that's right there between that, that, that sweet spot, that 10 to 15 minute spot. That's where I want to be. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and bring this particular video to a close. Thank all of you. I want to thank you all. Just, just, I, I'm not even going to, yeah, I've said all I wanted to say. Thank you all for everything I've already said. Uh, for all the reasons I've already, I've, I've already made uh, clear, I hope. Anyway, um, yeah. I can't wait to see you folks in this next one. I really can't. That's going to do it for this particular video. Hope you folks enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you folks next time.